We will know what's new in the new version of Tesla SCADA 2, 31. The main feature we added, we add some possibilities in design. As you know, you can create new tag group. For example, we create department 1. And now you can create new tag subgroup, for example. Auto one and for example test group five one and for example new tech text group subgroup to be exactly conveyor one. And now, when we create new tag, it takes first number from the department, department 1 and motor 1. And now, for example, we create tag, tag's name, start, stop. And, for example, New tag speed it will be float. And for example, we want to copy this. And we will it will create next name. We start stop one one and one. And for example, if you copy other, it will create one one two. For example, name. Let's delete this text. And for example, for Valve, we take open close. And for example, for clear sensor one. And we want to copy, copy tag, and copy tag. It will create this next number digit. And for example, if you want to copy all this group of tags, you can copy, and it will create the next step, the tab one, two, and this number will be placed in first. Also, we we'll have possibility to edit name and tag here, for example, set editable, and you can change name. And also, you can change input tag. For example, if you create Modbus server, you you can change its input register here. Let's see. For example, we create new Modbus server with these parameters, and for choose hold register with offset zero, you can edit. For example, offset it will be placed here, and you can change to offset one without opening. Tag properties window. To switch off this possibility, you can create, check, and check set editable. Also, in the new versions, we implement OPC UA server. We added new encryptions, for example. Basic twenty forty six SHA two five six sign encrypt and basic tw two five six SHA two five six sign. Now you can use these encryptions in your project for for PC US server. Also, we added possibility to 
export text for RPC UA client that you, we will use. Text RPC UA, for example, we name it. And you can name RPC UA server that will bind this text. Okay. Also, we, re we implement new, we created new project. Tesla SCADA to PCA server. You can use it separately without project embedded. And you can use the same project that you use in Tesla SCADA ID and Tesla SCADA to runtime, but it will separately uh, connect to Mobile server and provide you the OPCA data for your OPCA client. It has the same properties like OPC UID and I also it same the same properties as like Tesla SCADA type. So it's not simulate text values but connect to but it connects to the Tesla SCADA te, to real PLC and OP, and servers. Now open Tesla SCADA runtime and demonstrate possibilities of input text that we exported in Tesla SCADA to ID. Let's create new project. Mm, sorry, you, you can create project only in test SCADA ID, of course. Like for example, we can name it video test First we name server but that we want to use, OPCA server that we used in our example. And let's create IP address of our second device that we will use in the example. And now input project text. Sorry, I should just... Now let's input text. And now we will have all the same text, but text with also <coughs> input tag and bind to the RPC server that we will use like RPC server. And now let's create some graphical objects. For example, for motor we will use model and motor and bind fill color to speed to start stop stop and okay. now for example digital matter we will use for speed And for while we will use this object, I will not some composition make just for example create some graphical objects. And for conveyor we will use just image of conveyor and. So indicators, slides indicators, and bind first indicator to sensor one one. Call 
And now, this and copy. We create possibility to copy sensors, copy text by drag drop on the object. And now you can see the text name bind to this for property that we used in previous duplicated object. For example, now duplicate as object and copy this tag to this object. And you can see it also bound. Now you can group this all these objects and for example duplicate and you can copy all grouped text to this grouped object. Let's see. And let's see text. So you can see that text that be bound with um, to the department two bound to this object. So it will take the name, the digit of department two, and bound to the same text, but with, for example, here, with first digit zero. Or, one and you can so it will increase speed of development for the same graphical objects that's all for development and now let's test this for the for opc server and client Click gain our opc server that we use in our pc and check it OPC settings. It has port eight six six six. Enabled OPC server. And text for department one, department two. Upload this project on our other PC and let's open OPC client. Let's check server. Port the same eight six 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 and IP address of our other PC. And let's open this project in our other <coughs> in Tesla SCADA to runtime. Open OPC server project in Tesla SCADA OPC server. We can open in Tesla SCADA to runtime in other PC with embedded OPC server. We will use, we will check OPC server. And let's try to connect. It's connected. And now try to check tag, for example, to. 50. Tag change to 100. And for example, to 77. Let's check change sub. Full text. It's changed. Okay, it's work. Now I will show what other features in Tesla SCADA or PCI server. Now connect to our bus. Oh no, it's all project. Let's open our change project and test it. And you can show values by drag and drop these values. Now let's check some text. For example, holding the list of text with 77 to 555. So you can see it works. 
that's all. If you've got any questions about our new version of Tesla SCADA 2 ID and runtime, and also if you have questions in, about Tesla SCADA OPC server, you can ask them in our form or in or by email.